Living in Cornwall is just brilliant for anyone who's creative, I think. You can be a, an artist or a writer, um, but also uh, effectively be living on holiday. You've got these incredible beaches and clifftop walks all around. And also there is this very good creative community that's very self-supporting and self-sustaining. Where we live, we have um, a potter, a painter, and a composer all within about five miles. And of course, my other half is a sculptor as well. I think I'd be very open to landscape influence wherever I lived. But the great thing down here is um, being able to walk and it's part of every working day. So I tend to start the day by walking the dogs around the farm and around the cliffs. And that gets my brain in gear for writing. I'm very old fashioned in that I write in ink, so I can physically write absolutely anywhere. But I tend to spend almost a year just researching each book before I start the actual writing. So Mother's Boy, my new novel, is based on a real person, the great Cornish poet Charles Causley, and the mystery at the heart of his life, which is really why he chose after the Second World War to come back to Launceston where he'd grown up. He could have gone anywhere in the world and he chose to come back to Cornwall and come back to his mother. I'm incredibly lucky to live here. It's my husband's childhood home. Uh, several generations of his family have farmed here and it's still our working farm. As of a few years ago now we've started daring to open the garden to the public every summer during the rose seasons. And we do this through the National Garden Scheme, so it raises masses of money for different charities. Visitors can get together a group of six or more. They can just make an appointment and have the whole garden to themselves.